Yo yo yo, I am back for another stream and today tonight we're doing a first impression video by the first part of the stream and we are playing Help Will Come Tomorrow, a new indie game. Uh, just to show you guys what my opinion of the game is and how the game plays. Uh, oh yeah, I can, let me first load the music. It's, it's feel like the music too loud. So this is a first impression video where what I do normally do is I play the game and I give you my opinion of of my opinion of the game and how I what things I like what I don't like about it and you know just point out anything that is bugging me like glitches and stuff uh, then uh, it's up to you guys to decide whether you are interested or not but uh, I, I don't really do reviews uh, I'm just doing this type of and uh, first impression stuff all right so uh we got options yeah <clears throat> audio options sound effects and the uh, basics exclusive full screen tutorial yeah do you want to see change sure but that's pretty much all the settings there is i guess it's not a um a very high-end kind of graphics but I like the drawing so far the artwork's pretty nice I think is everything is done in 2d uh, settings credits oh and uh, the game is made by arc like creations uh, published by lab beta I think that's how you pronounce it all right, we're going to jump right in so you can choose difficulty uh, the passenger level is the far least demanding experience allowing you to focus mainly on the story told in the game so you've got a uh, simple approach milder initial condition of the characters more resources and animals in the taig taiga less threats and aggression from renegades milder weathers and that normal mode survival level is optim optimally balanced experience where the aspects of survival and the stories are equally important Resident of Siberia. The Resident of Siberia level is an experience directed to the most persistent players where the aspect of the survival and telling of the story is extremely demanding. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, we're going to jump into the game now. We're going to do a medium survival mode. I'm going to skip this because it's so loud. I don't know why the music is so quiet. Okay, there's something serious wrong with the sounds. It, it must be just me. Let's try again. My god, that cutscene is so loud. <clears throat> we barely escaped death. Can you hear the shots? They're killing other survivors. This is a replay from the Namian skyscraper. The star supporters are opening fire to the proletarians. They're talking nonsense, they are just folks with deserters. 
Don't talk so loud because they'll hear us. Why are you just sitting here? <laughs> We've run a long way. I think we can just take a rest here and the snow will cover with our footprint. Do you want to use the manual describing the mechanics of the help that will come tomorrow? Yes, please. A key aspect of the character's survival is satisfying their base needs shown in the form of statuses. Hunger, thirst, frost, fatigue. Each of them has its own individual effect on the character. To know them, you can hover over their icon. There is a bit of a clean water in the inventory. Give it to the thirsty cat. Why are you so thirsty, bro? Yeah, clean water. You to do this, blah, blah. I click on. Let, now let's move on to the cat card. Cat card is a place where all the most important information about each character is located. The window is divided into three tabs. We will start from discussing the character section. Each character belongs to one of the three factions, aristocrat, revolutionary, and neutral. Action infiltration defines the initial attitude of the character to each other and affects the course of the night conversation around the campfire. Okay, traits are the character's unique features. They appear during the game as a result of conversation, action, or event. They can have both positive or negative impact on the outcome of the character in the camp. Health can determine how many ailments a character can endure and decrease of health to zero means death morale means how much conflict and sacrifice a character can endure high morale makes it possible to regain action points lost in the morning by negative status the morale level can be increased by performing actions corresponding to the character and conducting a dialogue in a manner or consistent with the beliefs and nature of the character Current character statuses are also viable in the cat card. In addition to the basic statuses discussed earlier, the game has a number of special statuses, uh, including among others disease, injuries, and mental states of the characters. Some of them may have a time limit on a given number of days. Exceptional statuses may prevent from leaving the camp or block some actions. Okay. Action points. It kind of feels like a board game already. I kind of like that because I love board games. Oh, <clears throat> action points represent the strength and readiness of the character to act. They are used as a result of taking action in the camp, removing snow, building, creating. This is a survival game about deserters. I guess this is during World War II. I could be wrong. This is where the slot the character's clothes is located. The quality of its performance is due to the cooling of the character. The next tab as part of the character card is the relationship section. Oh, you can they can actually form a relationship and probably marry or something. Trust, friendship, credit. The relationship section can send the attitude of the selected character towards other team members. Next to the portrait of the given character. Oh my god, there's so much to read. Trust, friendship, and credit. Changes in the relationship occur during joint work. Night, night talks. Relationship affects the quality of jointly performed action and the course of dialogues. Determines how much of the character's believes in a good intention of the other. It increases as the characters spend time with each other and learn something about their past. Determines how much one cat likes the other and wants to spend time with them. It increases when the cat perform action together and grief during conversation. And how much one cat appreciate the skills and competence of the other. It increases when the action performed by the character and brings a positive effect. My god, this game got so much dialogue. The last tab as part of the cat card is the My Story. In this section, you can learn more about the character as a result of the next night conversation. Da -da -da -da. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. To survive, the character will also have to take care of their camp. Within the camp, you can build five structures. Campfire, shelter, workshop, quarantine, and fence. Before building a new camp structure, or what, when it is buried as a result or wherever, action removes snow must be carried out. Before you can build and develop the camp structure, we need to clear the area where it is to be erected. To do so, you must perform the action, remove snow blank. After removing the snow blank, you will be able to put a camp structure in this place. Optional tool using shovel gives the chance to regain the action point. 
Each action in the game represents action of the character. Actions include remove snow, building, making items, cooking, expedition, taking care of the other characters. Uh, each action is changed is char charged with a cost in the form of action, and sometimes all works will require some resource. Currently selected action of removing snow is an action for a single character and it's cost of one action. Uh, let's get the soldier to do it. Optional tool. Let's move on to the performance of the selected action. <laughs> it looks, it's kind of funny you put her in a, in a spot, spotlight due to the fact that we do not have any extra objects. Let's proceed to the proof of action. It's working. Oh, it's done in real time, it's not turn based or anything. After removing the snow blank bank, we will be able to put the camp structure. This character is weak and gets tired quickly. Well, oh, that's just great. She's a weakling. Action of removing snow amongst the possibility of erecting camp structures. Select the action can be performed by one or two act characters. If one character takes construction, the cost of will be four, three. Okay, okay, I understand that. So I need at least two people that can fill in three points of action. to regain AP while cooking food. Oh, that's useful. Campfire has been built. Is, that is the people per, uh, present in the camp. They are satisfied with a solid structure that was built, hence their credit towards the building. Yeah. Hey Kuhn. What's up? I'm gonna stream. Uh, the structure can be damaged as the result of the weather or events. The condition of the entire structure is represented by the quality bar visible in the upper right corner. To go to the repair action, press the hammer. Warmed up, but everything has a price. The re renegades and dangerous predators moving around. The area will be attracted to a camp by its visibility. The visibility of the camp, apart from the campfire level, is influenced by the number of the people in the camp and the current weather. To reduce the visibility, you can lower the fire by clicking the minus. Weather apart from the impact on the visibility of the camp. Expedition in the camp shocks every day, recovering them or damaging them and affecting the quality. Means the consistent, determined, and loyal are the people in the camp. Improving individual character morale and the relationship during the conversation between them increases the camp morale. Camp morale has a significant impact on the course of the sum events. During the basic of the game, use as many action points as the character. You can finish the day phase when you want. Okay, so spend your action points in the end turn. Cool, cool. cool. Vodka! Eh, hey, vodka! She's hungry. Eat some beans. How do I feed her? Alright, I think I have to give it to her. I'm feeling. She's tired, in shock. A shot character loses more while performing an action. Thirsty. Vodka. Yeah, he's drunk. 
The drunk captain does not change their morale and has a small chance of failure of the action they undertake. I don't have a lot of food. <laughs> Smoke to get out of being shocked. <laughs> Eat the young and stomach. This character can digest almost anything. Indigestion and poison last for a shorter time. I'd, I'm guessing I'm not timed in this game, so I don't have to be quick about my building and stuff. It's this twisted ankle. If you don't restrain the foot after a few days, the character will start to limp permanently. Oh, that's not good. How do I fix that? I wonder if they, in the future of this game, they're gonna add like a free free mode where you can choose who your survivors are, and they have different properties and skills, and outcomes, stream. You can actually eat bark. I mean, I fed him bark. Ugh. Materials. It's snowing. It's too dangerous to explore. Fatigue reduction protection gets cold. Protection against wind securing the areas. Setting snares and putting brushwood. Quarantine point. Sick preparation of medication and dressing. I need this to fix his ankle. How do you know it's always me? Because you always fart in it. <laughs> she got a runny ass. Solid bed. A warm corner away from the camp hustle and bustle. Makes it possible to regenerate gathering strength. Slightly reduces fatigue and restores bits of health. How do I make. Um, Solid makeshift. I have needles. Initially, this character has lower confidence in all other characters. This character is weak and gets tired quickly. This character can digest almost anything. Hey, have have a bark. Mmm, <laughs> delicious wood. Valiant. This character has a really brave heart. The morale constantly improves. Wow. Gregory That's a Gregory I think that's better than oh, I can't pronounce his Russian name <laughs> By the smell and appearance of this gentleman you think that the shortage of moonshine can worry him more than the disaster and the frost. The sturdy boy looks like he had been on the military surface recently. This young girl has was the maid on the train you were going. This man looks like a high rank officer. There is determination in his eyes. They don't have eyes. Oh, oh their eyes are black. <laughs> Quick shops. Uh, care for the sick. He doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't like him. He 
<laughs> he doesn't like working with them. She's a revolutionary, Maria Petrenko. Dmitry Tokolov. Uh, Sergei Ivanov, I think that's pronounced it. <laughs> Grigory Dmitryevich. <laughs> so, the, the soldier, the cap, the officer, he's. I have a. I'm gonna have a problem with him because he can't work with other people. He doesn't like working with other people. Let's get him to remove this. Got some supplies. Workbench. Make a makeshift version or a, a really good one. But I don't have any decent materials. Oh, you need 10 needles. Simple linen. Where's this shelter? Big reduction. Required needles, but I don't have enough. Feeling we're gonna get spotted because the visibility is halfway. It's not even that hot. Fireplace intensity 20%. We might have to remove this. Visibility. Are you sure you want to end the day without using all of your catapult? Unused AP the catapult. Unused AP reduce the catapult fatigue at the end of the day. If a shelter is built in the camp. What can I do with them? Fire pit, they have food and water, solid water filter. Just in turn. Night time. When you're when not sleeping, the characters setting by the fire have conversation with each other during one night. They start two topics. Each topic is an opportunity to get to know the other character better, discover their traits, or change relationship between the interlocutors. Some dialogues can be unboxed with new topics, even tasks related to the characters. Okay, so let's seek a better shelter. 
crash and slaughter. What the hell does that mean? Let's check the Northern River. Production. Let me introduce myself. I presume that none of you has pickled cucumbers. Are you asking seriously? Do you realize what situation we are in? X character likes the hard stuff. When sober, they can lose morale at night. When drunk, the morale increases. What? <laughs> he has to be drunk because I'm aware of that. We're damn far from the distillery. But what is the strapping me in my psych? Come on, baby, come to your uncle. Got some alcohol. <laughs> he found some alcohol in his pocket. The situation is as follows. The enemy outnumbers you. It's better to arm than know the areas. Oh, manga. This character likes when something is going on, even if it doesn't have a positive effect. We have to secure the area. I will determine the orders of patrols and changing the watch at night. Does anyone have any weapons? Captain, we are not a troop of soldiers and we will not become it even under such a respectable command. Nonsense. The situation has turned all of us into soldiers and the warriors need a commander. You order here then and I'm going to sleep. Bullshit. <laughs> Let's talk in more action. I take over the first watch and then at dawn we will look for sharp stones and metal fragments so that we can sharpen the purchase an arrow. The soldier and the girl I respect in here. I think the soldier and the drunk is gonna have problems. Everyone's getting positive so that's good. Can't worry about reduce perfectionist. The character prefers to do things precisely. The quality of the construction is higher and often gains credit, while the morale increases when making solid structures. Unfortunately, morale drops during the makeshift action. And after each small action, they have a chance to waste an additional AP. Oh my god. This guy. It's not when you're trying to survive in the snow. Easily dehydrated. Oh my already getting thrown with these negatives. The shots have ceased. The re renegade is retreated from the crash site so you can leave the camp safely. Send an expedition in order to obtain new resources and look for the nearby area. Press the map button in the upper left corner. Expedition preparation window is the place where you decide who and with what equipment to send to the field. Wait, doesn't he have a sprained ankle? This is a bad, bad team up to be honest. Can I stop this? <laughs> the panel of the currently selected edition is located in the bottom left corner. Here you can see the character included in the expedition with their inventory. Bomb search. What do I do? Map be searched. Let's do an easy. Cool, I like how this game, even though it looks like a very simple small game, you can actually explore pretty much of the surrounding areas, which provides you more surviving uh, materials and stuff. Lost probability. Every move on the map increases the risk of getting lost off the expedition. It can force its members to stay overnight in the forest. Bad weather increases this risk apart from the move. The level of getting lost risk increases during performance of the zone searching action. Perform zone searching action by pressing the magnifying glass. This window shows the items that were found within a given zone. Press take all button. Note that the search action in addition to the risk of getting lost has also increased the level of zone threat. 
the higher the certain threat level, the more interested in it will the enemies will be, whereas the wild animals will avoid it. You can continue the expedition when you decide that it will be safe to return to the camp. You moved it to it by going through the subsequent stones by pressing the return to camp. Can I do more? some wood. She's hungry. Can we make a pot? Do we have clay? I don't think we have clay. I think you have to make clay. Clay sounds like a material you can't just find. <laughs> Must be a rare material. Structure. Material. Well, that's a very good piece of wood. Woodlock. Give you so much fuel and wood. What's up with you guys, man? I'm not fond of you. <laughs> but so they distrust with each other, so they don't wanna they don't wanna work with you, with other people. But I don't really trust the drunk guy to work on his own because He's drunk, he's got a trait that has a chance of failing, so I might have to sacrifice 10 morale. Says, make sure filter makes it possible to obtain drink water from snow. We need water, so we gotta get this. And also, it reduces the cook. This cat can have a chance of cooking. Because um, the good thing about when you have two two people working, it reduces the cost of action point, so I can get them to do other things as well. Campfire. How do I make water then? I 
gotta sacrifice morale. Because I need these guys to build this stuff now. to make it faint. Alright, so I need to sort out these people with hunger and stuff. And the girl is hungry. Edible root. Need some berries. Not bad. Still hungry. Poisonous mushroom. Uh, no, same thing we eat it. At least not in the first place. <laughs> Bugs, disgusting, but that's still protein. Ugh. Uh. Who wants it? Yuck. Yuck over, but what a man can do. I don't have enough food. Indigestion. <laughs> oh no, he's got food poisoning. Oh, to... That's not good. He gets more out when he's drunk. He gets no morale, he gets minus morale if he's not drunk. But now he has a treat that makes him resistant to alcohol, that means he has to drink more alcohol. Oh no. I'm really like panicking what to do because I don't have enough stuff. Drunk. Everybody's hungry, thirsty, sleepy. This guy's got indigestion. A kind of indigestion will lose some more at night. You can speed up the healing with some drinks. I had to give him the alcohol. Don't have any other drinks left. Providing filtering water, preparing meals, improving relationship. So I don't really tell them what to build, do I? They just do it themselves or something. I'm not sure how this game works. Events are special moments in the game that can appear randomly. They can be the sort of dialogue, character stories, a critical character morale and fighting on the map, mutation to renegades, or with the wild animal. Events can relate one or more characters. During events, you will have to make any many, many often difficult choices. Some of them may require appropriate traits or having specific items in the characters on the campaign. Okay, on the camp. Damn, your legs is in a worse condition than you assume. You have no feeling in your toe and your and the pain has moved to the metatarsis but you cannot show weakness you are responsible for these people and as soon as they know your condition morale will drop and they will stop listening to you you saw it on the front too many times you plan to find a solid stick and start to support with it as soon as you disappear in the wooden grove however as long as you are in the sight of your companion you don't want to show that you are limping you bite your teeth and take even steps although you know that it strings the tendon in the calf Keep up appearances show no weakness. Doesn't make sense. Now grab a stick and let your leg rest. A good leader knows when to say enough. Well, they will see you in that moment of weakness, but at least the leg will be whole. I don't want them to have that leg problem forever because if that happens, um, he won't be a very good uh, runner for expeditions. Is that it? 
and must and poisonous mushrooms. Not very good. I guess I can't do anything else. Ran out of like action point. Like a topic. Maria's introduction. I'm begging you help me. We must go back there tomorrow to look for Patricia. Piatia? I think that's bad. Is he your brother? He was a badged handler. Baggage handler. How does he know that? He is. He is a baggage handler. God, I've left him there all alone. Maria, there is no chance that he survived the catastrophe, and even if somehow the bandits pulled him out of the wreck, it, wreck and did not kill him, by looking for him, we put ourselves great danger. Would you leave an innocent boy to die? Better him than me, why shall I have my ears frostbitten when looking for some brown? <laughs> oh my god, I thought he was supposed to be a soldier. Damn. Morale. He would definitely like to help you in such a situation. Surely we can do something now. First of all, you need to see strength. You won't help him dead or sick. This remark applies to all of us. Let's gather strength and avoid fighting. Let's not be inspicuous. Uh, this introduction to the kid. Are you coming back from the front, soldier? Me? I am not a soldier. But you were. You don't look like someone whom the academy or church would protect against service. The farmhand would not be in the train compartment either. A long night is ahead of us, so I will ask again. Uh, this is m the past. My division ceased to exist. The fighting is still going on. Do you believe that the provisional government will soon sign a ceasefire? They can sign whatever they want. The next government will tear the paper. <laughs> Pacifist. Drunk guy likes the kid. This character voice quarrels and tries to ease the industry. The war will probably never end. Only the battlefields and banners change. Go to the devil with all of this. Everybody is starving. How do we get food in this game? Unknown zone, danger level average. That's a fiver. Send the girl and the soldier. There is a renegade patrol near your expedition. You best avoid direct meeting. If your expedition enters the zone where the patrol is, or it goes into your expedition, an event related to confrontation will appear. The renegades, like wild animals, can change the position of the map every day. Oh, so they're the renegades.
So actually, cool. Okay, it tells you what you can get around these areas. What I need is clay. I get any clay? Oh shit, this place is dangerous apparently. You stopped for a while near the ripped car. The place brings nightmarish memories to mind. Not so long ago you fled it from the thuds. You wonder if you should look inside. Immediately the renegade stole most of the things, but they would not take curtains or pieces of the paneling. These may be useful to you when expanding, expanding the camp. Suddenly the door squeaks from inside the car. Are the renegades come back looking for valuables or is it the survived passenger? Meet them unexpectedly. A four-legged silhouette appears in a broken door of the car. It's a lynx. Anno suddenly jumps off this ladder and instantly disappears between the snowbanks. Probably you had a nice feast inside, but what a nightmare. Oh. I'm guessing I can kill it. Deadly. You have found the wild game trace. One of the zones you to hunt it, enter it soon, but remember that without proper equipment it can be very hard to hunt. If you fail, the animal will run into another zone. Wild animals, just like the renegades, can move every day. So you can hunt the thing. Got some scrap metal, charcoal, and oil. I need clay. Where would somebody find clay in this place? Dangerous. Risky. Insignificant. did all the traveling we could. <sighs> She's bleeding. Uh oh. What did I do? What did I do? Oh house to starve to be. Everybody's starving. I don't know what to do. <laughs> the hardened table unlocked action of producing simple weapons additionally to unlock material breaking actions. Somebody make this. <laughs> Can't stand you. I want him to do it because if he does it, he gets morale. If you make it into a solid construction, I might have to sacrifice morale. This cat has a received extensive education and can show useful curiosity and conversation. Caretaker pose. A caretaker most makes it possible to treat yourself or your companion who needs help. Care regenerates health and has a chance of improving bad status, unconscious shock or sick. Dressing. I need this.
People are losing respect. Um, can I make shift this? Need more structure. New. This character is dying of hunger. Don't feed them, their health and morale would noticeably drop at night. The bleeding character loses health and every action with every action. You don't treat the wound and if I should make it into it. How do you treat them though? I don't understand. God, <laughs> this is so hard. My people are already dying. I need high calorie fuel. How do I tell it to heal? Do they just automatically do it? Let's get them to eat food. Everybody's hungry. Probably cause indigestion, but it's better than starvation. Not nutritious, but allows you to forget about the cold Siberia for a moment. Hallucinating. <laughs> it's a hallucinate. Uh, <laughs> drugs. Chance of failing any action, but but in return increase the morale. If you run out of food, you will have to eat it. <laughs> eat some bug. <laughs> he, he ate so much fuck he became hallucinating. <laughs> Got nausea, <laughs> kind of a nausea would lose more every night. You can get rid of the sickness with some drinks. I don't have any more drink. I don't get it. How do you tell them to make water? Unlocks the action, filter water, option tool. Oh, there are the action. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> I completely forgot. Filter water allows you to filter dirty water from snow. Improve the relation to two characters, increase the morale. How do I make food? Uh, I don't think I can, I need to get the upgrade. Best. Who needs it? I 
need to build a palisade soon. Need somebody to be on the lookout. So everything costs action. That's gonna be hard. Ah, oh, crap, need water. Somebody needs to make water. Does it cost action to heal? Yeah, it does. She's, <laughs> she's sleeping. And she got some wounds. Cutting the canvas or lever into rags allows you to make better use of this material. What? He failed. Oh god. Because he's freaking on drugs right now. Alright, I think I need to restart this game because I totally screwed up. Let's go for a new game because <laughs> I suck. <laughs> Let's get the cuts in because it's so loud. Oh, we got different people this time. Interesting. So you do get different people. I thought you ah okay. I thought you only get predetermined people. So I got the kid and the girl again. This time I got grandma and and lumberjack guy looking. You hear the shots? They're killing other survivors. They replay from. The, the, the. Been playing Valorant. How is it? <coughs> Got any wins? Hey, my cool. Thank you for doing a shout out. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, bro. I'm just doing another first impression video. Shock. Smoke. Smoke. Sick. Yes. She's a revolutionary and she is an aristocracy she's revolutionary he is neutral kind of wish i like the fact that it's random that like they choose different survivors for you but i wonder if there's like a free mode where you, you can actually choose who your survivors are you should add that in but we need somebody to remove the snow she's sick we need to get the medical place up and running there's two people sick Let's get the kid on snow. Then we need to build a campfire. Gonna have to lose more hours. Character knows the makeshift to build and develop by them have higher quality. They need a handyman. I need to get this unsnowed. Do we have any enough materials? No, we don't. We can't tend the wounds sick people yet.
like the art style is the same. And it looks so nice. You know, responses, there's a select few of this. That's a post. Intrigue how this game works. Do you have do you get to move around or is it more of a clicking game? So it's a it's a clicking game. <clears throat> so what you had to do is this is your camp and you have to maintain your camp, the camp so that you the stuff that you build in your camp they can break and etc. etc. You need to use it to make food, make uh, water and stuff like that to survive and also have some kind of protection against bandits and stuff. And then you go into the expedition mode which is not ready yet because there's people shooting outside. And then in the, in the exp expedition that's where you can explore your outer area. But everything is is 2D. So. Yeah, you have this, this. You don't actually see your person walking and stuff. <clears throat> and and when you when you go into uh, do uh, when something happens like an event, it will have like a event screen for you to read what happens. And then you've got a decision to make uh, whether you uh, do something good or do something bad. Uh, basically, you have you have a decision to make, and whatever result it can be bad or good. Yeah, it's really nice. Indie games have always been like a, a good place to find a niche games that have that doesn't like completely different from AAA games. It's more kind of like a kind of game that you can play it and relax. But at the same time, I'm like getting these people killed. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see. I gotta clear all these snows. So by clearing these snows, I can build the structures of the of where basically these are all fixed points, fixed areas. So this is your quarantine point where you do medical stuff, and this is where you have a shelter where you put people to sleep who are too tired. And then you got a workshop here where you build uh, tools that you need to build to have a higher quality build. And also to hunt monster. Uh, I was about to say monster there. To hunt animals for food, for better quality food and stuff. And then you got palisade to help you defend. Well, not defend, but like warn you against uh, bandits and stuff. And you got campfire to make sure you keep them warm. And you can also build upgrades to allow you to get more water, to produce water and cook food, so you don't get indigestion and better seats. And it gives you protection against frost bites and stuff. But everything is like calculated. You need to plan what to build and what when to use it and what to feed them because they can die from e eating too much raw food and stuff like that. You need to compromise. And you got morale to look after because if they if the morale goes low, they'll stop working, they'll start fighting each other and stuff like that. And they, they have also have a relationship with each other, whether they trust each other, uh, they have fr their friendship, uh, friendly with each other, or they approve. So basically, if you, what, what credit means is basically the, the better result that you do when you're building stuff, or when you're hunting and you're like doing them, they value your your contribution basically and then there's also their their factions as well the, what their belief is this woman's an aristocracy so she's like a rich person and there's a revolutionary person so these two might not like each other because she's an aristocrat and then and he's a revolutionary and then you've got a neutral who's not he doesn't really care no, rich or poor basically there's lots of uh, there's lots of things that makes things go bad and makes things go right, and then you got like it's just bad. You have to keep the balance up and just uh, help your people. So if you got a somebody who doesn't do any work, he he will get credit reduction, and that means. They don't appreciate this person because he doesn't do anything. <laughs> OK, 
seconds. This character had like repetitive action. Decreased more when performing the same action in a row. Oh, that's cool. That's really good. I could use that. Morale. Increasing morale is very important in this game. As well as keeping these people alive. I don't think I can build anything right now. I need more materials. So you, you can make a makeshift version or a solid version. Solid version has higher quality and uh, doesn't break too off. Uh, has more health on the bar <clears throat> because your 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 area, the bed that you make, can break and stuff like that. And then you, I'm only playing. I haven't even gotten through uh, the whole week yet, but there's a chance that the the weather will change to be blizzard and stuff and cause problems for you. Uh, I can make a makeshift. Makeshift is basically a, a poor quality, uh, so it has a really low health bar, but it allows you to make one straight away so that you can use it. I need more needles. Palisade. I think I should get a workshop going if I can. But with a workshop. I can I can build like shovels and stuff so we can use it to get, make better quality oh my god her, their morale dropped so much maybe that was a bad idea <laughs> god dang it To make this, I need water. I need to find clay, make food. This character does not work precisely. The quality of the, the construction is lower. Uh, the quality of the is lower. The credit of the others constantly decreases. In return, during the makeshift action, their morale increases. And after a large action, they have a chance to regain AP. What? That's not good. <laughs> In return, he, so he's not very good at building stuff, but when he starts making stuff, if you tell him to make makeshift version actions, their morale increases, and after a large action, they have a chance to regain an AP. So every character has up to three APs that you can use to tell them what to do. It's kind of like a board game, so you, you, you end turn, and then everybody gets three, three actions. Some characters only have two because they have certain thing that's stopping them from getting extra action. Fully fit characters begins the day with three action points. Every two negative statuses reduce the number by one. Then with those three actions you can either make food, uh, build items, recover your, your health, recover your, uh, your, in, your sickness and stuff, or you can send them out in the expedition to find loot. Fuel or food for this desperate may cause indigestion. Okay. I'm now putting campfire. Campfire is good to keep them warm so they don't get frostbitten, but they also increase the visibility of the camp so bandits have more chance of coming and screwing your day. <laughs> but I need to put that in. Let's end turn. <laughs> making them work by not giving them beds. I can't because I don't have enough materials. Let's seek a better church. Crash and slaughter. I don't know what that means. Crash and slaughter. Let's check the northern river. Alex's introduction. We were saved from the disaster and avoided the slaughter. It's unthinkable. Do you know if anyone else has survived? 
The train was derailed with dynamite. Shortly afterwards, the attackers blew up one of the rear cars where the soldiers were travelling. They must not have known where to hit. Then they shot the survivors without mercy. Those who have survived could hide in the woods or somewhere in the wreck. You must, we must stay together to help arise. We are in the middle of the Siberia tiger, without appropriate clothes any and food, surrounded by thugs going after us. How much longer can we survive in such conditions? One, two days at most. In that case, let's hope that help will come tomorrow. <laughs> That's the name of the game. So I got morale for that, for that uh, talk. Let's do Sophia's introduction. My dear, thank you, but you shouldn't have saved me. I am old and weak. I will only be a burden. Don't say that. No one deserves to die in such circumstances. Now we will have to stick together. Every hand to help counts. When I die, please write Sophia Butinia Nieva. I don't know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> Born in 1854 in Odessa. Or maybe without a year of birth. I need to think about it. Everybody respects her. Her relationship increase. Her <laughs> credit reduction reduced. Everybody, because since he's got messy, his he's, uh, credit gets reduced for everybody. Honest. The trust of others towards character is constantly increasing. Cool. <laughs> Which country does he have more now? Campfire is under snow. Oh, what? to find clay. Alright, we need to go expedition. So this is the expedition map. You can move to your surrounding area. I don't know if there's more to this map because they said that you can relocate your campsite. Right now your campsite is next to the crash is where the crash site is. I'm surprised the 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 people who caused the crash did not find you because they're literally camping two heads of gun away from it. <laughs> Insignificant. So there's a high chance of bad things happening. Like snowing. So we should send expedition. We need to send people. Send the girl and the boy. So once you search an area, it tells you what kind of things you can get from this node. So you can get barred, many medium, needles plenty, feather medium, bugs medium. Huh? That's shit, I didn't pick it up. and needle that's useless and now we ran out of action points we had to send them back to camp there's the we need to put the camp fire on so let's put some fuel Oh, we don't have 
have enough materials. This could be bad. This could be really bad. Eat some beans. <laughs> Vodka has is beverage and it has high calories. <laughs> Indigestion. <laughs> I don't think anything is safe to eat. He's got indigestion. to feed everybody moss <laughs> oh no I need to make some water so that I can get rid of the indigestion There's also a ch when you craft and there's a chance that your character will fail if they get if they're too tired or they have some uh, negative stats. So they're scared of thugs coming but they are have a fire going. I wonder if I find that. Yeah that's what I think. That's what I thought as well, but you know there's only a possibility they can see it. <laughs> you need fire man, you gotta stay alive. Get rid of the indigestion. Seems like alcohol works better. Oh, she's failed. I don't know. I'll do anything now. Listen, Alka has improved my mood a bit, so I'll share a story with you but to speak on the subject and straight from our train. Nothing about the desire I insist. Nothing, nothing. Well, a crippled man was with us. A veteran well dressed, his left leg was wooden, or the right one. Anyway, imagine that from time to time when we fought, when he fought, that nobody could see him. He was taking his leg off and pouring brandy from it. He drank cooked. Oh my god, what's up guys? Pan Mike, what's up? I guess, I think the thing I did wrong is like, I just went anywhere and gathered materials. I should look at the tires more carefully because you can get stuff, uh, certain stuff only by looking at the tires. This red thing could mean something. This stone thing it allows you to get stone, and I don't know what you get from here. But yeah, I think it's game over, guys. And I think I failed these people. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna have to end this video here. So, it's been going on for two hours and thirty minutes. <clears throat> Didn't think I'll play that long. But yeah, guys that is a uh, help will come tomorrow it's a, a really really good survivor game i actually like this a lot um it's really hard and it has lots of um mechanics behind the survival um, i've seen other survivor games like this already i can't remember what's called now the game is really good it's a very nice indie game i must say 
<clears throat> but anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think of the video or the game. Uh, comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.